Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'd like to share with you how I use these really pretty pill and stick wall towels from the Dollar Tree to make beautiful faux metal wall art. Interested? Then just keep watching. Here are the items that I use for this project. I'll leave the complete list of everything that I used down in the description box. So the first thing I did was use hot glue and a strong adhesive to attach four of these 8x8 wall plaques together. I held the plaques together for about 30 seconds until the hot glue dried. You could also use chip clips or any other type of clips to help hold the plaques together until the strong adhesive has the opportunity to dry. Here I'm adding just a bit more of the hot glue to help keep the four plaques together. I then flipped the wall plaques over and added some additional strong adhesive to this side of my design as well. I allowed this to dry for about two hours. Next, I took my wall plaques out to a well-ventilated area and I gave each side of my design one coat of silver metallic spray paint. Once that paint was dry, I then added my four wall tiles. These wall tiles are self-adhesive, but I did add just a small amount of strong adhesive just to hold the tiles in place over time. I did notice that the towels are slightly larger than the wall plaques, so I carefully used my X-Acto knife to remove the excess. Next, I removed the mirror from its frame and I used a combination of the strong adhesive and hot glue to attach the round mirror to the center of my design. Thank you. 
While that dried, I began adding my self-adhesive gemstones. These gemstone stickers appear to adhere to the wall tiles fairly well, but if you decide to replicate this project, you may want to consider also adding a few drops of strong adhesive or hot glue to ensure the gemstones stay in place over time. I continued adding my gemstones, simply following the circle pattern of the wall tiles design. I was able to cover quite a bit with just one pack of the self-adhesive gemstones, but I did use a second pack to finish out my pattern. I also wanted to add some gemstones in certain areas of my design as well. I repeated those steps to make a second wall art piece, but learning from my first design, I did remember to trim two sides of the wall tiles to remove the excess before placing them down on my design. I then allow both pieces to dry overnight. To complete the project, I cleaned my mirrors, used two small nails to hang my design, and here's the finished look. These silver wall tiles from the Dollar Tree are super versatile. I can think of tons of ways to use them throughout my home. Unfortunately, I could only find eight in two of my Dollar Trees. So I'm on the hunt for more. And if I find them, I'll bring you more DIYs using these beautiful tiles. And just so you know, I was able to locate these wall tiles on the Dollar Tree website. They come in three different styles in a mixed case of 24. I also came across the copper colored tiles in my local stores, but I don't have these colors, so I passed on them, but they are in store, so be on the lookout if you're interested. How would you use these wall tiles around your home? Let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If so, please like, comment, and share. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Be sure to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my next video. Also, be sure to subscribe to my second channel, Dazzling Designs by Denise, up close and personal. I'll leave a link to my new channel below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, I upload new videos every single week. So until next time, guys, bye.